Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first uni haul. I'm going to be doing the bedroom part today. I'm really sorry for the background. Basically, I'm in the spare room because all of my uni stuff is in here and I can borrow to transport it all to my bedroom and then put it all back. So, I've got like a makeshift like tripod going on here, balancing on some blooming cutlery. Um, but yeah, um, we're going to try and deal with this. Sorry for the background, I know it's really boring. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you everything that I've got for my bedroom for uni so far. I probably need a couple more things and I'll probably see like some cute things like more recently. If you're at university or you know someone that is or whatever and you think, oh, she really needs that, please, please, please comment below because uh, I'll definitely listen to you all about what I need and whatever. I've gone online and looked at loads of lists um, and looking at different things because I know I would have forgot quite a lot of stuff. Um, I've actually got a list on um, Evernote of all the stuff that I wrote down that I need for uni. Um, so if some of you want to see it, I might try and link it down below, like of my list on Evernote, um, because then you lot could like, if you're going to university, you could look at my list and see if there's anything that you've missed out on yours or whatever. Um, I don't know, I'll link it down below just in case any of you want to see it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you everything that I've got. So some of this stuff I got ages ago. This I think I got like before Christmas. I think I've actually shown this in a haul. But I'm going to show it again because it's, it was ages ago. Um, and this is this little love heart from Primark. It's like a hanging heart and it's like... Oops, I've got the batteries falling out. Um, it's like a hanging heart. It's got like... I don't know what that's called. Is it wicker? I think it's wicker. And it's got all these lights around it like entwined. And yep, yeah, we've got some... Uh, batteries down here uh, but yeah really really pretty i think this is like six pounds or something but i got it absolutely ages ago so i'm probably not still in there sorry about that but i'm definitely going to get some of those hooks that you can just stick onto the wall but don't leave any marks and then i can pop this up on the wall on the wall and it will look really cute so yeah really like that i then got this little clock just here which i think is really really cute it looks like a mantelpiece clock but it's like a tiny one and it's just so cute it is not set to the right time it is not 10 to 12 um, but yeah, it's really, really cute. I really like this. It's got the batteries in the back. And this was from Danelle Mill. I think it was £4. And that's what that looks like. The next thing is a mirror. You can see a little makeshift <laughs> thing going on here. Um, yeah, it's a mirror. Really, really cute. I really like this. It's £2.99 from B&M Bargains. And it's got all of this like flower detail. It's really nice. Um, I think, again, it hooks. But I can lean it against the, uh, like a desk or whatever. But I'm going to try and put it somewhere. Or I can put it again on one of those hooks that don't mark the walls. Uh, but yeah, really like this, really pretty, and for 2 99 that's a complete steal. I then got a doorstop, which looks like this, and it's like a heart-shaped one, and it looks like that, so it's a little doorstop, it's really cute, and it's got like a floral pattern. This was from Primark, and this was £2. Um, I got it ages ago again, but it's really, really nice, and all the uni videos that I have watched on YouTube, I'll link one channel down below that is really, really good. Um, I can't remember a name, um, but I watched loads of them last night. So I'll link them all down below for you. And yeah, this, what she was saying in the, the essential uni video, that you need a doorstop because you'll look more sociable with a doorstop and everything. And I've had so many people like saying it. Um, so yeah, if you're going to uni, definitely get a doorstop. Um, I also got this, which I also, where was this from? Being and Bargains again. And it's a little heart. And in my room at my mum's here, uh, if you've watched my room tour, which was up ages and ages ago, I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. Um, but in my room tour, you can see I've got so many hearts. And I'll probably take quite a lot of them with me. Uh, just because I have got so many here, I probably won't miss them. And this one, it's got like little bells on it. You can hear it. Uh, it's like grey and it's just so pretty. I'm going to hang these from like all different like areas so my room will look really pretty. But that's what that looks like. And that was one ninety nine. And then have a really exciting thing. I have a pillow. This is the Gossip Vad pillow from um, Ikea. I have two of these. And I am a back sleeper. So I got this one. Look, it's a man laying on his back. Um, I think these are like £6 each or something. And then, one thing I would recommend. We went into Asda to get my duvet. Uh, we went into Asda actually to look at the bedding and stuff. Um, and I'll show you all that in a second. And to get my duvet we'll again, which I'll show you in a second. And I'd already bought these pillows from Ikea for £6. And we saw in Asda they had like really good pillows. Like memory foam and everything for like eight pound so if you are looking for pillows for uni or looking for pillows for anything definitely look in asda because they had some really good ones and the ikea ones are fine but the asda ones are probably better uh because they were like a proper brand if you know what i mean uh but yeah got these uh we then have a lamp here this is the bottom of the lamp it's like glass as you can see here sorry it's not put together obviously but again this is from ikea this is the brand Bran is the bottom and this is the top like the little shade and this is the Hemster. I'm telling you all of this just in case you want to buy it yourself. And the this was seven pound for the two together. And yeah, 
so it's really cute really little, cute little lampshade and it did say they had a desk lamp but it wasn't very nice so i just thought i can just unplug it and put my own in there um but yeah that's what it looks like this is so random i'm really sorry um the next thing i've got is these which are like little pen pots sorry i think it's rattling uh little pen pots these are from ikea very exciting just pink pen pots um and then i also got some face towels like flannels because I use flannels all the time to wash my face. I always do like a um, cleansing balm and then I'll just wipe it off with a hot flannel. Uh, so I got four of these from Ikea. And then we just have some scissors. These are like such good value. I think it's like 80p from Ikea. And you're lucky you get three pairs of scissors. And these are my favourite scissors. Recommended scissors from Ikea. So the next thing I have is uh, hangers. Yeah, there's a lot here. These were 60p each. Like 60p for four in Ikea. And I got ended up getting 28 hangers because i thought the more hangers i can have the better i wanted them all the same color and these were like 60p which are great and i much prefer the plastic ones to the wooden ones because the wooden ones they just all slide off and i wasn't going to get the like furry ones because they're too expensive so yeah 60p hangers if you need hangers definitely go to ikea the next thing i've got is this uh, which is like a little like hanging up um thing i don't really know how to explain it but it's like a shoe thing and you can put like all your different like shoes or whatever there is a little picture here but i don't know if you can be able to see it um and you can like put your shoes in or you can put like underwear or anything in there and this is just a small one it's probably about this wide um they did have like a larger one which is about this wide and i thought if i didn't have many if i didn't have much drawer space our mum said she'll go back and get that one for me uh, but we don't know how much space is in the wardrobe and what drawer space and hanging space and stuff. So there's no point in getting it then. Whereas this is quite slim um, and it'll be good to hold like smaller items uh, like shoes or underwear or necklaces and stuff like that. So yeah, got this. It's a really pretty floral pattern as well. Um, I've then got these which are like box file type things. Um, and I've got two pink ones. These match the um, little cup holders that I've got. Um, and I've also got these in silver as well, which I don't know where they are, uh, but I've got these in silver as well. So I'm going to have like two pink, two silver, like pink, silver, pink, silver. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I'm definitely going to need them at some point, I'm pretty sure. Um, the thing is, I don't really know how to organise my stuff at university because I've never been obviously before. I don't know kind of what the format's going to be like of lectures for what's going to be like notes i don't really know how to set it out that i want to go for folders or anything i don't know what to do um so it's re i'm really struggling about what to buy for it but i thought whatever i do i'm probably going to need something like this to put something in and those uh file things were from ikea i'm firstly going to show you my duvet out of like the bed stuff because you can kind of get a feel for kind of the theme i'm going for this was from george home at asda um and this is what it looks like so it's like a purpley kind of well, I was going to go for one that was quite busy and quite like loud when you came into the room but I couldn't find one that I really really liked. There was like a couple in Ikea but they were okay, they weren't that, that nice and I thought if I go for something like this which is quite plain but a nice colour then I can put loads of cushions on it, do a really nice throw um, and just make it look really pretty. So I thought this was really nice and it's a really nice texture as well, like I really like the feel of it. It's really silky. And I think when you've got a texture to a duvet, it's just the best thing. Like, it just feels so nice rather than it being like cotton. I know some people are different about different things, but I really like the fact it's got some texture to it. So this was £20 uh, for a single duvet with one pillowcase um, from George Alster. So yeah, really like that. So that's the duvet I went for. And then I picked up cushions to go with it. So the first one that's here is this one here. And this is also from George Home. Um, this is what it looks like. It's got all these really pretty beads and it's just lovely. It's such a nice cushion and it's like a really nice material. It's like satin. And this was £7. This is really pretty. I then got this cushion which is probably my favourite that I've got so far. And it's just really nice. It's like this really nice um, pattern on it. It's like a Baroque print. And um, this was £7 too. Uh, this is like a bigger one. And I kind of want this print on a throw. Uh, that's kind of what I want on the end of the bed. If you've seen anything like it, let me know if you've seen any kind of nice throws or anywhere that you know that do nice throws uh, for the end of a bed. But yeah, I quite like the print of this. But yeah, they didn't have a throw to match, unfortunately. But 
really like that pillow. And the one's I'm going to show you now are from Primark. So this one was from Primark. A lot of people have this pillow, but I really liked it. It went with the duvet because the duvet is kind of like this purpley colour. It went with it. I just thought it was really good because I want to kind of fill out my bed um, and kind of fill out the room that I've got um, and make it kind of really snuggly and make it kind of homely. So I want loads of pillows on it. Um, so I thought getting ones like this, they're just kind of plain. If you get loads of them that are really busy, it just looks a bit silly. Whereas if you get like some plain ones as well, um, it just think it looks better. So this was £3. That's such a good value. This is two pounds. I then got this pillow again from Primark, which I really like. It's kind of this like Parisian type theme. It's got like this writing on it. Like it says Paris number 2184. Like it's just really nice. Again, goes with the theme. And this was four pounds. So yeah, I really like that too. And then the next cushion that I got is this one here, which says home on it with a little heart. It's so cute. And this again was from Primark for six pounds and this is more expensive because it's got like these buttons here um but it's just really nice love this it's got like really nice detailing i think it's really pretty i'm going for like a gray kind of purpley theme um i kind of want some darker purple in there as well so i'm gonna get some darker purple cushions as i said i haven't got like all of the stuff but i've got the most um really for this the kitchen is nearly done but it's a couple of things i need to get that probably like, are quite vital like plates uh before i do the video for you um but yeah this one is really really cute i really like it I then got this little cute hook thing from Primark and this was like an accessory hanger. I just thought I'm not going to have that much storage space so, um, and I love like my necklaces as you can see. Um, I really like big necklaces and I was worried that I'm not going to have anywhere to put it. So um, I can put them all on here and hang them all on here and put this in my wardrobe and I think it would just be really useful and this was £2. I then got these really really cute things. Um, there's this one here which is like a little bird and again I just want my room to be really homely. Like, I want to feel like I'm at home when I'm at uni um and i can't really do it obviously until i get there but i just really want to feel at home so i've got lots of little cute things to make it look really pretty and this one was two pound and then i've got this one which i love because it's rose gold um and this was two pounds mum wasn't that keen on it but i absolutely love it this looks like this and as I said, I'm going to have loads of hearts and loads of, loads of like pretty things hanging. And the last couple of things, uh, this was from Primark and it's really cute. It's like this little candle and it went like really well with like the kind of theme I was going for. It's really pretty. I wouldn't have got it, but it's a really pretty like case and I just thought it looked really nice on the side. So it's quite nice as well. I actually didn't even smell it before I bought it. And this was £1.50. I then got these, which are really, really pretty. They're like little lights um, and we are going to get like actual normal fairy lights as well, just like the like just the normal ones um i've actually got them around my bed at my mum's here um but i just want like loads of like fairy lights because i think they just look so pretty and they look like just that will make me feel really homely having fairy lights and these are what this these look like i'm just going to drag one out and they're like little hearts like this like with wire around them with a little light inside and you get 15 of these in here and these were six pound i've also got this which is obviously so vital it's a shower cap um it's really nice though. it's like a really silky material and that was from primark for £1.50 and then i have a bit more boring stuff i have sheets these again were from george home because i just got the quilt there so i thought i'd get everything else from there um and this was the cotton rich percale deep fitted sheet this was seven pounds and it looks like this. Comes in a really cool carry case as well, so it was really cute. Um, and then there's a pillow for three pounds, which obviously matched the duvet. I then have obviously the most exciting thing to show you, not, um, is the duvet. I'll just bow my head. Uh, this is the duvet and it's huge. And this is a slumber down sleep well signature collection luxury embossed striped duvet. Apparently, this is good. Mum said it's a really good brand. Don't really know brands of duvets. This is a 10.5 TOG. Again, didn't have a clue what that meant. Uh, but apparently that's fine. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It's huge. It kind of takes them out of my face. And this was a complete steal. We got it for £13 in Asda. I'll just sit and rest my head on here. Uh, we got it for £13 in Asda. Um, and apparently these are normally really expensive. Like Ikea, they were like £20 for a the same TOG. Um, and so I just thought, well, we might as well get it from Asda when it's a really, really good duvet. Um, and it's a good brand. Uh, so yeah, if you're definitely looking for a duvet or pillows or anything like that, go to Asda. Because especially if you're going to university and you want it cheap, this was really, really good value. Then another couple of bigger items which are going to be a bit difficult to show you. This is the first one. And this is a laundry basket take my laundry to uni and put it in my room 
and this basically just like these legs fold out and the back and the bag like comes down a bit and this was like something ridiculous so like three pound ridiculous and this is the gel gel laundry basket there you go if you want one of these it's called the gel and yeah i have this at home like here so i thought I might as well just take this one i then have these which again apparently are really useful obviously i do not know what's useful and what's not because i don't own a house um so mum was just telling me to get things um and these are three radiator errors and they basically you hook them on your radiator which they keep flying off they you hook it on your radiator and then they can like dry clothes and i'm gonna get i am gonna get a clothes horse um not one actual like ones like this um but we couldn't find a small enough one they were all really really big and i don't want a massive one because it'll literally take up the entire room um so these are really nice to hook over the radiator if you're just gonna like wash a couple of things like mum said that like, if i'm just gonna wash like one blouse or one top or some underwear or something in the sink um that i just want to wear and you just want to dry it on here then it's a really good idea so yeah got these and these are really cheap as well how much are these i don't know like three pounds or something i then have this uh, which is actually a box it's one of those fabric boxes that like have a lid and whatever that are from ikea and this was three pounds um and i just thought basically i'm not gonna have anywhere to put my hair dryer straighteners things like that i'm already stressing over where my makeup's gonna go obviously i'm not gonna bring the whole lot but i feel like i'm gonna have to bring some of my muji drawers and just pop them on the side but i'm already stressing about that um so yeah i'm definitely stressed about where everything's gonna go so i'm thinking if i got this this was like three pounds make it into a box could put it on, under the desk and just have like straighteners hair dryer and everything in there so that's quite nice now that was actually the last item i had to show you um so i hope you enjoyed this haul um let me know if you want me to do the kitchen and the bathroom one if you don't it's fine uh but i Lo loads of you have been requesting uni hauls for ages and ages and ages i suppose it's kind of my homeware haul as well because you know i'd use this stuff if i was moving out as well uh, like completely um so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed the haul video um and you've enjoyed seeing what i've got for uni um if you want any other uni videos like i mentioned in my a level results video if you want any others like kind of uni tips things to do before you go things like that obviously as i said i'm not saying i'm an expert at all like, i literally haven't even been yet but i figured some stuff out in the past couple of weeks that i thought i'd tell you all about um so yeah thank you very much for watching guys and i'll speak to you very soon bye